doing something completely different than usual uh, by actually having a vacation before our big hike. And our hike's not going to be on the AT this year. Uh, it's going to be something completely different. We're going to have some fun and film things along the way uh, that will be a lot more enjoyable for us over the next few days as we film Getaway 3 Cherokee. We decided to go to Cherokee this uh, vacation because I've always wanted to go. I've always wanted to go to the casino since I can remember. And uh, of course, I grew up in the Cowboy Indian days and now I'm not that old. I grew up watching and playing Cowboys and Indians. So I was interested in Native Americans and I wanted to learn about them and see that. Summer's Eve on a train bound for nowhere. I met up with a gambler. We were both too tired to sleep. So we took turns to stare at the window at the darkness yeah. till boredom overtook us. And he began to speak. He said, Son, I've made a lie out of reading people's faces, knowing what their cards were by the way they held their eyes. So So I handed him my bottle And he drank down my last swallow Then he bummed a cigarette And asked me for a light And the night got deathly quiet And his face lost all expression Said if you're gonna play the game Boy, you gotta learn to play it right You gotta know when to hold Know when to fall Know when to walk away And know when to run You never count your money When you're sitting at the table There'll be time enough for counting When the dealing's done I got me not one, not two, but five. Count them five. Yeah. I one dollar scratch off to I only got two. Got mine bigger than you. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, anyway. But we will, we shall let's commence get, the gambling early. Yeah, this will get me ready for the casino. Uh, Either want to leave the casino. <laughs> You got, oh no, I got a, oh yeah, you got coins, coins all down in it, just uh, don't, don't carry that knife in the casino, but yeah, I had that thought at the house, I probably will forget, yeah, it is a quarter, I expect it back, cheap, <laughs> uh, <geez. laughs> uh, I ain't paying you to scratch them off, let's see here, I just now got my winning numbers so. off. I didn't even read the rules on this one, but I mean, ah, they pretty they're all the same. Yeah, pretty, match the numbers, but pretty much the same. Oh, I need to look at some stuff. Oh. But I got nothing. Loser on the first. Big loser. You win it's five a, times the amount shown. Is that really uh, 
unusual. <laughs> to be called the big loser. <laughs> the biggest loser. I yeah. lose the most weight. Yeah. All right. All right. What we got? Well, we are not firing too well. So you got a mouse in your pocket, buddy. I just hit for 10 grand. No, wish I did. Another loser. Well, if you five times the loser you was last time. <laughs> All right. I mean, I missed it by one number. All right. You keep on keeping. Ah, oh, how do you play? <laughs> yes, yeah, basically the same, but they put them in different places. And Oh, want a dollar. Oh, Make a holler, I want a dollar. That's just another trip back in there. Yeah. I'd rather lose going to the house. Not me, that next dollar might be my 10000 casino shop we chose Cherokee this year uh, instead of the AT uh, because we we were ready to mix something up uh, every year we have to do these big hikes and we're living on the side of the mountain for days and we want to do something a little different where we can still uh, still have our hike but have a little fun beforehand so so we chose Cherokee for for the things you're going to see throughout this with the casino and and having fun and just going in there and, and having a blast on vacation. And then of course Cherokee also includes the Smoky Mountains so I knew that was a popular mountain we could do some hikes on and uh, still give the audience what they come to see which is us us two clowns on, on a hike on a tough trail. About the shape I'm in All I know Is what I don't want to do again What I don't know Fill the book Goes on and on Down roads I never took What is good and All them things I can never hold on to Happiness Pain happiness It's a compromise More or less More at peace Being reckless Happiness has got nothing to do with happiness. What am I? Passing kind, changing the weather, change my mind.
happiness Pain happiness It's a compromise Nothing to do with happiness. We went and seen the Indian villages where you could walk through it and they were doing what they did back in those days and it was going from whatever, 1700, and how they lived and built their little houses and weapons they used and all. That was a, that was a learning experience, and uh, I was interested in that. And I mean, it was a nice little tour through there. We got to take pictures and you know, shoot a little video. So that was pretty good. <laughs> Hello. Nah. Nah. We walk through. Let's see the uh, hoof. The hoof. <laughs> oh, deer hoof. Yeah. Yeah. The elk keep coming through. We'll have an elk hoof too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right there you can see it in the ground. Yeah. He got a three-legged cat. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Now this is our basket section. Now before the introduction of metal, this is what our knives would look like. It has been deserated so you guys can handle it a little bit. Now uh, just to give you an example of what kind of basket cool. we made, this is made out of hickory. It's because hickory splits down fairly easy. And to give you an example of how sturdy this is, this is made in 1952 in the village of yeah. We talked about river cane. Do y'all do know what river cane is? Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Alright, the difference between river cane and bamboo is bamboo is an invasive species, just like uh, kudzu. Mm -hmm. Now, river cane is native to the area. And this is a full grown piece that grows at a much slower rate, not like bamboo. It's taking your pieces. Morning, fellas. Morning. How are you, Tim? Alright. Good. Glad to hear it. You guys have any questions about weaponry? No. Nah. Just how we <laughs> made it? <laughs> I'm guessing you just, like, you carved that out? Well, one of them you carved out. The other one you could actually just gather. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a weird looking one with all the weird nodules all over it. That's known as a root burrow. Uh, we would gather those, clean them out from all the dirt, and then we will have to chop it off, of course, and smooth it out just a little bit. But that's just use as a war club. It's a naturally made war club. No real carving necessary. But when we did get a hold of metal tools, we did start taking solid pieces of wood, like what we got back here, and carve out ball and war clubs. You may notice with many pictures of uh, Mississippian tribes or Eastern tribes all throughout America, they really love their war clubs because they did carve them themselves. Yeah. So with paintings, you will see them helping them. Yeah. Very intricate stuff. It doesn't take too long. Um, there was a man here who used to work here. He could make a war club within three days. Yeah. The first process was get the basic shape from a cut. Then he would, once again, start to cut it down with a little yeah. wax. Do that at the very end, use a chisel and hammer, he'd have it done in three days. Yeah. Huh. Do you uh, you make arrowheads or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, a couple, huh? so when we go to souvenir place, them arrowheads was made recently. There is, <laughs> there's a specific <laughs> spot in there. That's dedicated to selling uh, the stuff that's made here. Yeah. Um, you can just ask the clerk. Well, I'm talking about any, any shop. Oh. They all like been made in the recent years, or. Uh, yeah. There are some places here that sell arrowheads that have been milled. 
and where they just use like a drill bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, there is a gas station, the Hungry Bear gas station. They sell arrowheads that someone's actually napped, which surprised me. And you know how you can tell? Let me show you real quick. Um, it's actually quite easy. You look at the notching. The notching is a telltale sign if it's been milled or if it has been made by someone. Let me find a better piece for you all. Just saying, this there we go. So when the notches have been milled, yeah. they will be squared and fat. When it's been made by someone, you can see these flake patterns on the edges. Yeah. You see how it kind of goes yeah. around? That's from someone actually pushing down and flaking it off. If it's been milled, you won't see those flake hmm. patterns. You, uh, you have to have a certain kind of rock there, right? To, to make an arrow here. Yeah, actually, um, you can't just use any rock like granite or something. That's just too hard. But you use flint, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. that ain't that what they put in the cigarette line? <laughs> the old flint, the flint rock that sparks? Oh, or is that yeah. just this names does. it? Yeah. Yeah, all of it does. Um, oh, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> catch, catch you next time. Right, appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it. Yes, sir. Go ahead and go on to it. Somebody smoking. The is on the on the chest of the You're the, get the flower. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you got a, a box, you see? I guess we go around. What way? This way? Yeah, yeah. Right. Hi. How are we doing today? All right. Good. This is our 1800s home, so we would have lived in after the American Revolutionary War. If you guys want, feel free to step inside, and if you have any questions, I'm right here. Right. Appreciate it. Or the light switch. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the sun went down, they <laughs> yeah, they went on the bed. <laughs> I guess those are you could use them as like bunks or a storage room. Yeah, a little house on the prairie. They was up there. <laughs> that has a hard bed. In the wintertime, you get that rolling. But, uh, you got a big hole in you. The beat. Uh, yeah, I know, that's what. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. Earlier 1700s house, so this is before times of conflict. So you can see the difference between this house and that house up there is that we spent more time on the exterior. We were able to take a little bit better care in putting it together. But after our villages were destroyed during times of conflict by co colonists and Europeans, we need to rebuild in a hurry, so we built houses like that. Where we just left the edges around. Uh, no offense, but <laughs> didn't you have no teepees? Oh, no. Um, the Cherokee always built permanent structures. Ah, I missed but, that on my west. <laughs> yeah, but the teepees were more for the um, Midwest and um, mid middle of the United States. Yeah, I don't natives, know who's there. Like North Dakota, South Dakota. Yeah. Well, dang. I don't, want, I don't want to sound too white, but dang, I was hoping to see a teepee. <laughs> Yep, Cherokee didn't have those. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> Can't have it all. <laughs> hey, y'all got a light in this one. <laughs> it is advanced. Goodness, <laughs> buddy. Hey, 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 that would be pretty hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd throw some straw up there, some leaves or something. Yeah, right, man. Is this, what is this one? The sweat house. Ah. It's where you would go if you were sick and the hot rocks would be rolled in and the purple tea would be poured over it so that you would breathe it in and sweat it out. Did y'all do peyote? Um, no, that's actually the west end. Hey, we need to go out west. <laughs> y'all ain't no fun. <laughs> Oh, uh, they're going to some shorts. <laughs> yeah. Kill me, 
Ma bad, buddy. <laughs> and my glass is pretty short. Yeah, I mean, that's that's their bed. I mean, not their bed, but in there, their bed. Well, yeah, that's probably if they were sick, they probably lay down there. I guess they poured the, what you found out over these hot rocks. Yeah, water or something made it steam. About to drop out, bro. Hey, can you? No, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> you killed me. Ah, well. All right. Let's see what else I can find. See a bird running out. Yeah. Hmm. Hello, hey. Guys. Hi. How are you fellas doing today? All right. Pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you could probably hear me laughing across town. Yeah. All right, what we got? Butter turn. This is our 1540s home. We never lived in teepees or wigwams. Yeah, dang We were not a nomadic tribe and didn't have to follow animal herds for food. We were a farming tribe. The home would have been constructed by using red clay mixed with animal hair and straw, and that would keep it in place after it had dried. The mat here beside the door is not a window, but is only there to show you how the walls would have been constructed. The roof is made out of thatched straw and raised higher in the center for ventilation. You can look inside if you like. If you have any questions, just ask me. This is the camera going. All right. All right. Council house is down here. Yeah, because that's... You don't tell me this is a 14, huh? I mean, their house is getting better than that. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it seems... The wood, maybe it made it more sturdy. The wood making the cross beams and then you got the clay in the middle, but yeah, I like well, it. Well, that would make it more warmer, huh? Yeah. Well... There's no holes in it. There's you a nice flyer, bud. Nice. Big enough. Canoe. Canoe. Mm. All right. right. Any questions about trading or anything particular? Don't be afraid to ask. Be happy to help you. Mm -hmm. but, uh, what you're kind of seeing is the standard setup of trade, where Europeans are bringing in metal goods, co cooking ware, tools, guns for hunting, different types of trade cloths, as well as decorational items like glass beads, ribbons, and silver. In return, mainly what the Europeans are looking after is the furs. And although it's called the fur trade, this fur is not that important. It's actually leather underneath it all that's important. They'd be used that for all sorts of things, belts, boots, gloves. Yeah. But the biggest thing was for books. With the printing press coming out in the 1700s, you see a skyrocket demand for bindings of books. And leather was the best way to do that. That's why they needed so much leather. That's a horse stable there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had to do a lot of uh, duckings, all I'm saying. Maybe they were short. Corn's uh, been ready to come back. Yeah. Hey. That uh. One of the war clubs. Breeze. 
That work out. Say we're too far apart. Oh, jeez. Oh, don't shake it, don't shake it. <laughs> Just keep moving, buddy. Oh, I don't like this at all. No, I don't. Don't you? Do. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Well, go ahead and get across. You can pass back by me. I'll turn around and go back with you. <laughs> oh. This is a whole separate bridge, buddy. Oh. <laughs> mm. My wife would be freaking out on this. <laughs> huh? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the end. I didn't come this far to not touch the end. I know, but I, I, I'm worried that somebody's gonna pull up and I have oh, to Oh, yeah, run. you can go ahead. I have to run. Why'd you bring that camera? Huh? You didn't do nothing. What are you talking about? It was on both of us. I was up here when you get I know, yeah, I got you back. Just like I'm gonna do. Hey, can you bring the car around? Hey, uh. Yeah. Look, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's a weak board, buddy. If, if we went down, it would not be good. <laughs> I let out a splash. How about that? And really, what good are you going to do me? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Woo-wee. I got this footage. That's all we need. tell you something I don't do heights I certainly don't do heights on something that seems very unstable what I do for videos <laughs> what'd you think I, I, no, it was a little wobbly and the board felt a little weak sometimes but I was yeah. scared yeah that was uh, a little more I mean look how close the rods are coming out yeah. Up and under there. Look over here. 
Well, the you had uh, uh, I mean, some of them look rotten, but you had them. Yeah. So I mean, I, I don't believe enough would break that you would fall down through that. I can tell you this: one thing we were thinking about is if we don't find a lot to do here, going to Grandfather Mountain, yeah. where they have the big swinging yeah. bridge. Well, I don't know if I can handle it, but I give it a shot. We went to see a popular play they have here uh, called Unto These Hills, and I had spoke with my grandfather uh, before we came, and he said he had actually seen this play when he was in high school. And so when we got there, they had a, they had a thing on the wall there that said that the play had been going on since the 50s. Didn't give the exact date, but I'm guessing the early 50s. So. It was, it was just so, so cool to not only see a part of history with the Native Americans and the Cherokee Indian, but to see that play, which is now a part of history, and uh, I was just all about it. But it was, uh, it was very educational on how the Cherokee Indian started and where they ended up uh, today. pushing their smooth ancient peaks against the sky. In the beginning was freedom, the freedom of green things growing, of sun and wind and rain, the freedom of laughter, freedom of work and play. Far up, where velvet sunlight poured through the cool ravines of the Oconalufti River, where soft wind made the yellow corn tassel blow through the lazy midsummer, Lived the great spirit. Res hominos al fin del mundo. No tenemos muerte. Buscamos oro. We come in peace. I am the chief of Cofoltichiqui. My people live south and east. Many days journey from here near the shores of the great sea. And these men, yo soy el capitán, Hernando de Soto, de su majestad, el rey de España. Estos son mis soldados. He is called De Soto. He is a mighty warrior. Creek Indians. But the Creeks held their fort, and the task of driving them out was far from easy. Mun Jackson's troops was a young white man from Tennessee, reared as a boy by the Cherokee. Kids wrote me letters. Well, daughter wrote me letters every day that we're going to be here. So I got a Thursday, I got a letter from my buddy, Friday, Saturday, and there's Sunday. And then there's one I was supposed to open on the road last night and didn't. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Dear Daddy and Papa, 
Have fun and don't lose all your money at the casino. You didn't have to worry about that much. Love your best, best friend, Presley. It's a good one. You lose all your money at the casino? Oh, yeah. Lost my pants, buddy. <laughs> all right. At least I didn't lose my shirt. Let's see what the boy has to say. Oh, I love you. I miss you. Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love you. I miss you. Mm. Huh. There's that payment for this room just went through. Oh, I'm sorry. I forget. Somebody else buying something on my credit card. And the Thursday letter says, You've been gone for about two days now. <laughs> she wrote this in advance with me sitting there. Wow, miss you, guy. Presley, love you, Papa and Daddy. We love you too. Be home soon enough. After a little bit more adventure. There is God in Martyr Town. His body around Lover of life Reverend place Dimester tyrants Versus saintly grace Still prayer sins Into harmony's night The Ocotillo blooms By the master's light Living stone Desert floor Burn it down And let it rise once more the Streets are flooded Cherokee red What went wrong Was something we said Mystic mother still Carries a flame But they're coming for her now Just the same Hound dreams Breaking ground Nothing's ever gonna Bring us down Our cathedrals are all Prickly thorns We greet the muse like a stranger in I will follow you to the temple's gate Through my caution in the offering place Fear in your heart is where passion grows There will bloom a priestly desert rose the Streets are flooded in Cherokee red What went wrong was something we said Mystic mother still carries a flame Could you imagine standing in that basket and hoping for the best? Yeah, well, I mean, you'd be up there. You'd be way up there, uh, a target or something. Maybe when you're in that hole and you're shooting, you got your bullets over there. Yeah, I have seen, like, in the, in the car. Big, big machine gun type thing or something. Like cartoons and stuff growing up, you see them pop out of the metal, so I guess maybe that was just a storage. I mean, that right storage. there, something with the, uh, like a box like was set to it. I mean, just to roll over somebody with <laughs> Yeah, well, he would never know. I mean, not after two or three seconds. <laughs> yeah, well, he'd see, hopefully he'd uh, see it coming. PFC Charles George, United States Army, Medal of Honor, killed in action.
What are those, cannons? Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's what it's called, but yeah. But it does not look like our traditional cannon. Well, not, not the uh, Civil War cannon, but yeah, it does vibrate a little bit. I guess it, it hooked to something and they drug it. Oh, yeah, because it was... It was definitely, uh, I guess it was definitely more modern times. That take a whole crew of horses. <laughs> uh, so these, I'm assuming, killed in action. World War II, Korea, Vietnam. So we've got, that's a lot of names. Yeah, a lot of people killed. But I mean, that they got to be somehow different from these people. Not special, but something different. Yeah. Well, maybe these are people who served. And did that. Yeah, and these are people who were killed now. Uh, if you look at the names, uh, I mean, like the, the wolves, you know, young birds. I mean, I don't. I, they don't have to be brothers and sisters, but yeah. there's a lot of people in their families died or went and served. Yeah, looks like we got a flag for each branch of the military. Marines, Navy, Air Force. Pretty crazy. And they have, as tradition with, as we're seeing in Cherokee, there's a lot of different bears with different memorial type stuff or decoration on them. Yeah. You know, your spirit is a bear. And yeah. And all that. But I guess a bear is more. Also, I imagine. Yeah, I imagine there's a lot of bears around here, too. Well, I mean, <laughs> with the Smoky Mountains and all. So that's, uh, I don't know what flag that is. I'm guessing it's the, maybe the Cher Cher Cherokee flag or something. But I've seen two of them out here. But so this is the Cherokee Veterans Park. so much, Presley. Friday. We've got a few more notes to go this week. Tomorrow we're going to get up early and go uh, ride a train for about five hours and get to take pictures and videos along the way. And I like taking pictures, so I'm going to take a lot of pictures. Hope we see a lot of beautiful countryside and maybe some horses and whatever. I don't know what else is in the countryside. <laughs> Been a while. But I think it'd be a fun thing. I've never never rode on the train before. And this is the old time train, so that might make it a little more interesting. Here's a little song I wrote You might want to 
sing it no for no don't worry be happy in every life we have some trouble but when you worry you make it double don't worry be happy don't worry be
there's rich folks eating in a fancy dining car. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it coming. I know I can be free. But those people keep on moving, and that's what tortures me. Why you hit it? Go this way. Oh, I thought you all started to walk to the No, there ain't, there ain't nothing down that way. Same kind of carts. We'll see this way. <laughs> so, uh, Roger Miller. <laughs> see, these things were just uh, rocking and a rolling early. And it was it was like this. <laughs> yeah. So we still ain't made it to the master. And again, you had to step on these. There's the one of you. So I had to wait in line there, I was just leaning on the ground. But we still ain't made it to where I got food at her. So now it's rocking and rolling here. Uh, I like this area because it reminds me of the, no, it reminds me of the movies or whatever. The train. This is first class. No, they had uh, some fans too. I didn't really pay it. Yeah. But they do have the windows open, so I guess it would. Yeah. See, that's it. I see their seats are pretty flush. I noticed when I was grabbing a hold of them, trying not to fall. You should sit down a little bit. That's a gentleman. Yeah. I'm saying there's a look. There's a bench in there. Oh, hold on. There's a wide open window there. Yeah, yeah, let's not go in there. All right, so hey, this is where you go get the food. You had to pull this. Oh. You come on through. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. that's all right. <laughs> This was, this was well, rocking and rocking, and I had to reach for this doorknob and take a leap. And then, oh, we were all over. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Children must be accompanied by another. Right. The hike on on the Smokies, it won't be as strenuous. We won't have backpacks like we do on the AT, and we won't have. Um, I, mean, I, I do have my trekking poles uh, just in case I do need them, but we, we don't have all that weight to carry and all, all that. It's going to be more of a uh, just a generic hike, something that. Uh, we we don't have to carry all that weight and figure out different paths we can take and change things at the last minute to be able to make it. Um, but yet it's still going to be uh, a tough a tough hike for us because well, you know we we didn't go into as much training and preparation as what we normally would with the AT. But I do think the the sights to be seen um, with this hike will be. A lot more beautiful than what we normally see. Yep. Um, I forgot to read my letter yesterday uh, from the kid.
because we were on the train and I got my going home letter. So Saturday's letter said one more day explanation for miss you guys. Presley. See she included you in that. She said she didn't include you in that. Sunday. <laughs> she had one more day and she marked through it. But a few more hours. Miss you, Presley. She didn't include you in that one. I hate Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> sorry, that's all right. I remember you, Preston. <laughs> I got all my letters. Pack them in my bag. We got uh, four tenths of a, of a thing up to the falls and uh, who knows how many miles up, Buddy, to, I, to, the, up to the up to the up to I can jog up that little bit of a four tenths yeah, of a mile. We're hiking before that. Because we don't want to just go out there and do the falls. Do we? <laughs> well, all I know is if you falls, I want to be recording it. <laughs> Got that? Get that falls. Yeah. Yeah, all right, well, let's hit the road. Let's do it. Alright, you ready? Oh yeah. Yeah. This uh sort of reminds me of the what was it, six hundred steps at day peak. Yeah, hopefully it's about <laughs> sixty. It looks hundreds for me. Back there. Huh? <laughs> uh. I wonder how many steps it is. If I'd known it was steps, I would have. I would have looked at the scene from here. Yeah. I never seen steps. Could walk. Oh, yeah. Almost. <laughs> no. Looks like we're almost to the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like the kids over there, yeah? Well, I don't think we're to the waterfall. But I think we're almost done with each day. Hey. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> Why you do that every time you get this shit? Why I can't do this? Blood Mountain. Yeah. My blood. <laughs> I'm sweating my teeth. Blood. It's like blood pressure mountain. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Heart beating something, I can feel on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Bug went down the wrong way. <laughs> I can use something. Like well, one day we'll learn to quit doing these on a full breakfast. One day we'll learn to quit doing these. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. Have your rocky moment, eh? <laughs> See some water. It must be in cups. Don't slip and fly.
You call it. Might take me 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is it. It was worth the walk, guys. Oh, yeah. I promise. This year we enjoyed our trip uh, quite a bit more uh, due to the fact that we, uh, we were able to have an actual vacation prior to the, the hike and so we were, we were able to relax and have fun and uh, not be thinking about getting ate by a bear the whole trip. So that was nice. Huh? Well, <laughs> I don't know I wouldn't go as far as saying enjoy. <laughs> I better be out there and get mosquito buffet, but <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, it, it was a different than the hike. I've had fun, and it, we've been back to the air conditioned motel and riding around to different places. So it, it was, it was different. It, it was fun. I mean, when we don't have a at that time a good trip, we look back on it, and that was a great trip. So I'm Thank sure you. I'm gonna look back on it. It's a great trip, buddy. Great trip. Well, that will that'll lead us to our final question, and it's our final question every year, and we get it in the comments, and uh, that is, will there be another getaway, or are we going to do a getaway four? Well, I'm going to do one. I don't know if I'm going to yeah. get away with you, but... Uh, well, uh, there'll definitely be uh, a getaway four next summer, uh, where that will be. As you guys seen at the end here, we we got no idea yet, but we, we got some we got some old tricks yeah. up our sleeves. I mean, you guys, and as long as I'm kicking, I'm going on vacation every year. I work too hard not to go on vacation. And our vac we can't just take vacations. Uh, yeah, that we have to go somewhere where it's like this year. Uh, Cherokee's not as ideal as say a beach trip or something like that because in Cherokee there is no phone service anywhere. Yeah. Wi-Fi is horrible. Uh, the things to do in and around what you're scheduled to do is slim none and then they roll their streets in at about seven eight o'clock at night. So uh, you know the, the wife said to me uh, you know why don't y'all go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> why don't y'all go somewhere well, there's more so well then we can't do the big hike and the big stuff for you guys to see and so every year we have to do something that's a little on the edge well I, I like the outdoors so we got yeah. we got to do something outdoors and, yeah and and, uh, and we enjoy hiking so it normally ends up being a hike yeah um, but next year who knows well uh could be the mountain again and could be old Grand Canyon. You always want to do the Grand Canyon. I have. That is on my bucket list. So, uh, yeah. if we go together, we got to do it for my bucket kicks kick. <laughs> yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> and we got, uh, you know, this year 
This year we rhymed, Get Away 3 Cherokee. So we got, yeah. we'll let you guys know as soon as we come up with something that rhymes with four. Get Away 4, Pappy's out the door. <laughs> I'm, yeah. He's no longer with us, you know what I mean? Oh, that would be sad. Hey, right. I got this long journey trip with that, but can't take no videos. Well, we'll see you guys uh, next year. We'll see what we get into. Stay tuned. You never know. Where we may go. Hey, Ryan, buddy. <laughs>